guys it's Mishy mommy here welcome back to my channel uh, there was a video that I just posted not too long ago about what I received in my Juvia's Place order that is the first time that I ordered from Juvia's Place I did order the Warrior 2 palette as well as a set of brushes nine brushes came in the pack um, I am going to now do a quick look because uh, I'm just going shopping and, and do some things run some errors so I errands so I figured to use this palette to get ready for that so I think I primed my eyes already and I think what I'm going to do is uh, go in with the Kana as my bet Kana let's see if I can get Kana that light tan shade I'm going to use that as my base shade and I'm going to use the new J5 round eyeshadow blending brush from Juvia's Place this is new for me I'm going to go in with this brush it's kind of well, I have big eyes but it's it's rather large it's an eyeshadow blending brush it's I think it would work on my eyes if you have small eyes uh, you might want to try something smaller let's see they do have a smaller type of brush let me get it out here this one it's it's I left it in the packet um, it is a buffer eyeshadow brush is what they're calling it and that might be better suited but I, I think this brush is fine for putting on the transitional shade or base shade I do have an a, a mirror right here that I'm looking into Now today's just probably going to be a one or two color day. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go in with, let me change brushes. What else do we have here in the way of brushes? So I'm going to use the brush I just talked about, which is the smaller brush to go in my crease with the color let's see which color do i want to use here i think i'm going to go in with the color it's called wal walzana oh where is that color for you guys here walzana and i'm going to go in the crease with that I like the brushes I feel like I have control over what I'm doing more control anyways I don't know what this look is going to look like but it doesn't matter I'm still going to the store And I think what I'm going to do, oh, what did I do there? Because I've because I have what's called hooded eyes, I have to go above the crease anyway when I start blending. So I think I'm going to maybe stay with this brush. Or maybe take let's see what I'm gonna do next. What am I gonna do next here? I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do ne next. I think not a ton of fallout, but there's a little bit on the darker color there. I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna use Zaz. Um and go in here with Zazz. Let's see. So I don't want to use that same brush. Um, I'm probably going to use a brush that I have 
um, already because I do not want to mix the colors too much. This is supposed to be a one to two shadow look, but it might end up being more. In the center, I'm putting the light, lighter color. So I'm not sure there's not, these are, there's no shimmers in this palette. And I do like shimmer. <laughs> There's no. Um, I think what I might do. Is go in with. Um, I think what I want to do. I think I'm going to take Dara. And do something with that. I've never had an all an all um, matte look before. It's always been some shimmer involved because that's just my preference. So the brush that I'm using now to help me out so I don't mix colors here is the Real Techniques brush and it is called the Domed Shadow Brush. That is the name of this brush. And again, I'm using Dara on my lid. Dara. So uh, I do this from time to time. I go down the center of my eyelid and it gives some type of um, interesting effect. Not sure if you all will be able to see it. So I, this is the look I have come up with basically. I don't think I'm going to do... Let me go up in the brow bone with this same color, Daria. Hmm. This look is very interesting, <laughs> what I've done here. And this is all I'm going to do for this um, look. I'm not going to do too much more. Um, I have never, ever not had a shimmer color. So this is new to me. Uh, I do like the formula. I do like that was an eyeshadow, uh, an, an eyelash. That was not uh, the color. It's not a lot of fallout in this palette. Um, I do like the formula. It feels real good going on. It's easy to blend. Um, I'm just not used to all matte. Um, I'm not used to all matte uh, color. Uh, I'm not going to do a shimmer. I could add some shimmer to it uh, by putting on my um, I might do that I have an eyeshadow called um, 
color 24 hour tattoo and I can I can uh, put that on top of the look that I have here but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that so I am however going to use light powder a light powdering of the foundation I'm gonna put these back in their sleeves and I'll be right all right, so I'm ready to use my foundation brush uh, to put on some Too Faced uh, Cocoa Foundation in the color Deep Tan. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for my foundation. Um, what I am going to do, though, uh, is tell you guys that I used uh, the sugar cookie um, lip oil, just a tad of that. Tastes like sugar cookies. And then I did end up using the color uh, 24 Hour by iStudio. It is the um, Maybelline, Maybelline color. And I did put a little bit. Uh, of shimmer to the eye there so I felt like I just had to have that um, I went on ahead and did that so let's go ahead and test out see how I like this uh, flat top brush Juvia's uh, round top it's not flat top it is round top and I'm going to use this for my powder foundation so let's see how this goes on One thing about, I love how this smells. It smells like cocoa, like cocoa you put in your, I did not prime my face, guys. I didn't put primer on my face. I did put, um, after I washed it, I put a um, moisturizer on my face. So, and with me not really going anywhere of significance, just the store, um, I'm going to see how this powder foundation acts without a primer. It's a good test. That's a good test for it. So far, this is how it's looking with the powder on it. My skin is not looking dry. It's not looking dry. Uh, sometimes it worries me when I do use powder foundation and do not moisturize my skin well. Like, I almost have to over moisturize it so it doesn't get dry, have the dry, ashy look to it. I'm not, it's going on, but this is a different type of powder than the other powder that I use, the L'Oreal True Match. So it takes a um, couple of rubs to actually make the foundation um, really melt into the skin. And this foundation looks a little bit more natural, meaning you can't tell I have foundation on my face, but it does just enough to um, hide some imperfections that you might have on your skin. So with this type of brush, um, I'm going in a circular motion. So I, I can tell that my skin does look smoother. I like this brush. It's very smooth. Uh, I am not going to go with this particular foundation I am not going to go over it with the fit me uh, powder I don't feel that I need to so 
So this is the eyeshadow, the way the eyeshadow looks with foundation on. I do need to comb my eyebrows <laughs> and I'll do that off camera and be right back. Okay guys, so I did uh, use lightly the um, Jante Blue. It is an eyeliner. It's a stick eyeliner. I did put that under my eye as well as use the Better Than Sex, very lightly use the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. There we go. Um, so I did use those two products. Now I'm going to go in with the J3 Tapered Contour Brush and go in with the Too Faced uh, pineapple paradise strobing well they've got bronzer and highlighter here and I'm going to use the highlighter side mostly just very lightly because I am not going to any place special right now just the store but I'm trying this brush out, so I need to put something on my face. Put it down the center of my nose, too. I do like this Oh, I'm so sorry. My phone is so loud. I always rub my um, highlighter in with my hand a little bit, blending it out so it doesn't look like a streak down the side of my a highlight streak. Okay, so and you could use this for um, bronzer as well. I'm going to go in with this darker color down the side of my nose here. It's not going to have a big effect because of the color that this bronzer is um, and the color of my skin. So. I'm putting the bronzer below my highlighter area here. So I think I'm basically finished with this look. This is the, oh, I did not do the lips. The lips, what I'm going to do with the lips um is go to my go-to which is I always use lightly the covergirl melting pout matte and then I put a glitter That is my phone. What else would it be? Keeping in mind that I did moisturize my lips with the oil. These oils that I always show you guys is very good for if you know you're going to be wearing a matte. You can use the oil and put it on lightly. Like kind of way before you do the lip. Just to moisturize your lip. Because you do want the matte to look somewhat matte you don't want it to look glossy uh, i'm going to go ahead and go in with the anastasia beverly hills lip gloss from the lip gloss set in the color um and i'm gonna diamond i think it's the color diamond i'm letting the matte be matte for a minute and I'm going to take this and just put it in the center and then blot my mouth together, tap it together. I'm 
Okay, and this is the look that I have. I usually take the glitter gloss and put it on the center after I use some type of matte lipstick or just lipstick in general. I don't cover my whole mouth with this after. I usually just put it in the center. So I've used my gloss. That is the last step. I do like these brushes. Um, I still have, I've only used like three, three of the brushes, three or four of the brushes, but they all seem to work well for what they were built for. Um, I am pleased with the brushes. I might continue to look to Juvia's Place when I need brushes and they were not expensive. This does the job, a great job. And I just don't see why I would need to spend money on other brands that are expensive. Um, I'm okay with this brand. Um, it's one of the best ones uh, along with e.l.f. Um, that I like to use uh, brush wise that are, I don't know if you want to call them economy brushes, but they aren't expensive. So um, I will link Juvia's place below, just like I did with the uh, unboxing of my products. Um, I'll put a link to them below. Uh, if you're interested. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you, um, and I'm looking at my eyebrows, they're looking a little, a little all over the place and I'll, I'll brush them quickly. But if, if you want to subscribe, I do videos like this unboxings. Um, I do have in my, um, video library for, for YouTube, I do have one one or two family video vlogs. Um, I try to separate them um, within my YouTube channel so you know which are vlogs for from the family and, and which are makeup um, vlogs. So um, <laughs> you, you're welcome to look at that vlog, those vlogs as well. I don't do too many. I like this brush. It's an elf brush. Um, I don't do too many family vlogs. Maybe I'll upload a few more when we go out as a family. Uh, but for right now, it's mostly unboxings, unbaggings and things like that, dealing with skincare and makeup. So, all right. Well, stay tuned for some photos after this because my camera sucks. And you can't really see too well. Sometimes the camera on my phone captures more of what the look looks like. So that's why I do pictures after. So we'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.